Daniel B. Moore. I was the GMM uh, third class. Uh, well, we avoided Hawaii that time. Yeah, well, uh, I think we probably went straight towards Yakuza, straight to the South China Sea. You know, and it's a fake. But, you know, we did our time out there. One time we were out 33 days straight. That's the longest we were out straight. And I think we went into Hong Kong like at 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, for liberty. Um, we, I think the most interesting was uh, supposedly we had a couple of destroyers fired on the Turner Joy and the Maddox, and we were in Yakuza and they went to general quarters like at 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. Well, you could get overnight liberty there, so we had a lot of guys that weren't on the ship, so <clears throat> some of them got back. I think a couple didn't get back, I don't know, but they sent us right back. If I recall, that might have been the time we went straight through a hurricane. I mean, not a hurricane, but a typhoon. And you couldn't go with it, you know, you went through it. So, yeah, that was interesting. It's rough, uh, you know. Uh, storms at sea can be very, very brutal, you know. Cause, and, and you talk kind of a top-heavy ship anyway, you know. It's going to ro roll, and it's going to yaw. So you're going up and down. You go back on the fantail, and you look and you see the water 20 feet below you, and a second later, the water is 20 feet above you, you know, yeah. I mean, it really would go. So it was interesting. A lot of guys got sick. I never had any problem with motion sickness. So. We went into the harbor at Da Nang. Uh, of course, there was only a few people who went and got off the ship there. Uh, and I don't know what exactly we were doing, I think, plotting. Because they had spotters on the shore, you know, that directed the artillery, so. We were a member of Concrete Death Pack over in, in South Vietnam, and China Sea, or uh, South China Sea, and the Tonkin Gulf, so. Uh, we worked for destroyers, we protected carriers, Kitty Hawk and maybe the Ranger, I'm not sure, but I know the Kitty Hawk was there. Uh, basically, shore bombardment. Yeah, uh, we had six inch inch and six five inch guns that they used quite a bit. A lot of uh, percussion or in concussion, yeah. Uh, my battle station or general quarter station was in, after the ship where the missile house was in our launcher. So they, uh, when we were doing that, when they would uh, release the aft third of the ship so we could go outside and watch shells uh, explode on the beach or in, you know, in the jungle or village or whatever. And we never knew what targets we had, it'd be rumors, you know, so yeah, I wasn't real high up the totem pole. The, uh, the Russians used to have little trawlers there and like we, we'd re replenish, they'd try to break break off the, the supply ship, the line, bring the supplies over. And then they would, uh, occasionally we would have a sub come up and uh, move alongside of us to uh, avoid their sonar, so, yeah. We went to Singapore in that second one, and everybody had, it was about 40 miles from the equator. So everyone had hope, that that's a big deal in the Navy to cross the equator. We'd been across the international date line a couple of times, so that was a big deal. They called us back to Vietnam, so we didn't get to do that. Mm. That was a disappointment, I think, for every everyone on the ship, especially the guys that had done it. They got our wrapped up uh, polywogs or whatever we were. So when I got back, second cruise, which should have been about April, then I came home, got her, and we drove out to California. <coughs> we're in Long Beach about four or five months before we went to Hunter's Point. And then we were up there six months. It was fun. She got to go out. Um, she got to go board the ship some. It, it was funny one time. Uh, we were coming out from sea trial, in from sea trial, and she came to pick me up. She knew what pier we were going to. She saw the ship come in, went to that pier, and we weren't there. They changed it, but we didn't know they changed pier. And she kind of lost it for a little bit, you know, which is hard to lose the big ship. But uh, yeah, they changed the pier number. And then I took her back and then um, got out 
you know, a couple a uh, couple months later. But yeah, well, it didn't make sense to move her back from San Francisco back to Long Beach, and she's getting ready to uh, things ready because I was going to go to Ball State uh, then. So when I got out. <laughs>